am here from Aunt Em's Quilt and M Scrap Bag, and today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little posy block. It's one of the mini blocks in my Blooms to Basket. So this is my bloom. In two weeks, I'll show you a basket. If you would like to get the whole collection of blocks, you may join my sew along. So when you join the sew along, you'll get a new block every week. It will help to build your quilting skills. I try to include a number of different methods in each of my quilts. When you get to the elite membership, which means you've been a member of M's sew along for six months, you get access to all of the previous sew alongs. When you first join, you'll have access to the current quilt that we're creating and the previous quilt so that if you want to do more than one block a week, you have access to many more blocks. So let's see how we make this cute little posy block. Are you ready? Let's get started. To create your pretty posy block, you're going to want four three and a half inch squares. You're going to want for one and a half inch squares that will be the center of your block and 12 one and a half inch squares that will be the background for your block. So to get started, we're going to take our one and a half inch squares and we're going to draw a diagonal line from corner to corner on each of them. And the backgrounds. Next, we're going to take it to our machine, and on each of the three and a half inch squares, we're going to place one of the centers in a corner, and we're going to snowball that, and then we're going to go around to each of the other corners and place a background square, and sew across on the line, and snowball those corners. So let's take it to the machine and do that with all four of our three and a half inch squares. Once you get your three and a half inch square with the one and a half inch square snowballed on, we're going to flip those corners back, make sure they cover the whole corner there, and press them like this. And then we're going to go and we're just going to trim our seam allowance. So line up a quarter inch on your seam there and just trim off that little excess. It's not really a necessary step, but it will reduce bulk if you choose to do it. Once you get each of your blocks trimmed, we're just going to arrange them into a four patch so that our center snowball points come together. And we're just going to sew that four patch together. And that will create your pretty posy. You can just rinse and repeat to make a whole flower garden. They're scrap friendly, fun little six and a half inch blocks that finish at six. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you next time. Bye.